So, um, yeah, I'm Sarah McNamee, and um, my work is autobiographical and narrative. And to me, that means I tell stories, life experiences, and they could be as simple as totally boring, mundane moments, like sleeping or taking a bath, or they, they range then, I say, from the mundane to the horrific. I've documented, you know, being uh, a victim of a horrible crime, as well as uh, having and being treated for cancer. So it kind of runs the whole gamut. And I, I, I believe that um, when you're really, that the personal is political. And I also believe in uh, thinking globally and acting locally. And those two things kind of go together for me, both in the way I paint, you know, like the things I paint about, and in the sort of activism I've gotten involved in. This painting is called Separation, and this is really about being in the studio. So here I'm separating the egg yolk. I paint with egg tempera mostly, that's what this is. When I do these studio paintings, there's usually paintings within the painting that are part of the narrative. And in this one, this is the beginning of a painting of an empty lot in the neighborhood at the time that we were just turning into a community garden. So I painted it as a trashy, weed-filled lot. And then I painted it as it was transforming into a garden. And then we had about five years of a garden. And then it got sold and paid and that's a parking lot. So the whole sort of evolution. So I've painted it in all those reiterations. And this old painting, part of the painting, appears from a, uh, I did at a residency in Spain. So I'm constantly sort of, I think, one reason why I'm able to be so active and love what I do in Philadelphia so much is because I also give myself the opportunity to leave and go other places and sort of take that same idea of autobiographical narrative to other places. You know, I painted with oils for a long time because that's what most of us did in our schools. And I found my way to the egg tempera because I like to do a lot of um, laying down a color and then putting patterns or something over, like splashing, like these are just throwing the paint at to get show like the studio floor or like putting down a brick color and then painting the uh, mortar lines on top. So I want something that dries faster. You know, you're so much in what you're doing that sometimes you don't, you're not holding on to the narrative in your head the whole time. But especially if it's something like this or when I'm doing the bathtub paintings, that is, a, you know, like the bathtub paintings, I basically kind of start them by like thinking about how it feels to be in the bathtub. You know, who doesn't like taking a bath? Or like hot springs. Whenever I, I love to go to hot springs. And in fact, I just finished a painting of visiting um, Hot Springs in Wyoming last October. But then on the other hand, when I painted um, the experience of having been raped, those paintings were like really hard to paint because it was such sort of gut-wrenching that I kind of would work on them just for a short period of time and then put them aside. But eventually it comes down to just making a good painting in the end. My father died when I was seven years old and I had the image of walking into their bedroom where my mother was on the phone and he was having a fatal heart attack and I painted it when I was 27. So I kind of had that image in my head for 20 years and then finally painted it. So sometimes, you know, that's an extreme of how long. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. And that was my boyfriend at the time and, you know, things weren't going well. <laughs> <laughs> my view and his view. Two points of view. Yeah. Um, you know, the relationship ended. I probably would say I left. I'm the one that ended it. The moments and the scenes are as carefully selected as the quote unquote formal decisions of composition, line, color. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, um, you know, I'm very specific, you know, and I'm, I choose everything for a reason, and I feel like every single square inch counts. And you know how upstairs they have that make a button thing? So, this is another thing I'm very involved in right now. This is the Church of the Assumption on the 12th and Spring Garden, and our neighborhood association, of which I am now the current president. Um, we are fighting to keep that from being torn down. Nice work. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so for much. Uh, coming out and listening. Thank you.